Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, this is the Collecting Attorney. Uh, Happy New Year to you all. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season and uh, that they saw in the new year uh, with uh, some celebrations and uh, that everyone is safe and well uh, today. Uh, this is going to be a top 10 video um, showcasing my favorite 10 cards that I pulled um, during 2017. Uh, these cards are not necessarily from 2017, um, but they are cards that I myself pulled during 2017, um, or in one case bought in 2017. Um, and uh, I uh, I couldn't really decide, so I have a I actually have 11 cards. So there's going to be one bonus, um, and we'll start with that one. This is the bonus. Uh, it's a pink uh, Melky Cabrera parallel from uh, Top Series Two. And uh, it's just a great, uh, a great shot. Uh, I thought um, you know the uh, the players in the uh, the bullpen behind uh, moving out of the way of a ball that looks like it's going to be a, a home run hit, but uh, Melky Cabrera stopped it. And uh, this one is numbered nineteen of fifty, um, and I actually pulled this out of a retail pack uh, from a Target. So um, I was uh, pretty pleased. It's the lowest numbered card I've pulled out of a. A retail pack um, so I was pleased with that one so that was number 11 and 10 uh, we have a Albert Pujols Hank Aaron Award uh, commemorative memorabilia number 35 of 99 and this is uh, from uh, tops update series and uh, I put this in the top 10 uh, because it uh, I'm not a you know People are mixed about uh, manufactured relics, but um, it is the first numbered manufactured relic I've uh, I've ever pulled. So um, I've got that one on the list. So that's number ten. Uh, number nine. Uh, for those of you who watched my recent video, um, I pulled this uh, Felix George Blue Shimmer from Bowman Chrome. Um, I think it's just a nice card. You know, I don't know much about Felix George. Um, and uh, I hope certainly that he does well. Um, but uh, I thought it was a just a, a nice looking card. It's numbered one forty four of one fifty, and uh, just uh, the shimmer uh, you can see in the uh, the video is is pretty neat. So that's number nine. Number eight. Um, this one I bought on eBay. Um, I'm a big Star Trek fan, huge Star Trek fan. I know there's a mixed some mixed feelings um, in the community about uh, manufactured relics. I mean, not not manufactured relics, about uh, non-baseball relics in Allen and Ginter and the non-baseball cards in Allen and Ginter. But uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't resist uh, being a, a huge Star Trek fan. Uh, Captain Kirk uh, was a, a huge uh, part of my childhood growing up. Um, I'm not actually old enough to remember the original series, but I did watch a lot of the original series with my stepfather. Um, he had all the, the videos, so uh, I shall gunk on this one. I'll have to clean this, uh, clean this out. Um, I'll set that aside and replace the, uh, replace the top loader there, I think. All right, so that was, let's see, 11, 10, 9... 11, 10, 9, 8. So we're on number 7. Number 7 is a framed card. Number 10 of 20. Um, and it is from... Let's see if it'll focus. 2015. Top Series One. Uh, it's Ryan Braun of the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, story behind this one. Um, again, I pulled this out of a hobby pack. Um, I bought it at the uh, the LCS that's nearest to me, and uh, you know it was uh, National Baseball Card uh, Day, and I went out with my kids to a couple of LCSs locally, um, and uh, the first one we went to had the the giveaway cards and I was all set to purchase something there 
um, and the uh, the owner of the store refused to hand them out without us paying extra for the the National Baseball Card Day uh, cards. So I uh, I was a little disappointed with that. So I went to the other LCS, and uh, they couldn't have been you know uh, couldn't have been more different. Um, they handed multiple packs to myself and to my kids, um, and so I bought uh, more than I'd intended to buy there. And so I picked up a few, you know, hobby packs from uh, some of the boxes they had lying around, and uh, just happened to pull this card. So that was a nice uh, treat. That's let's see. So that's eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. So number six. Um, Aaron Judge, uh, rookie card, 87. Um, nothing particularly flashy about this card. It's not a uh, refractor. It's not anything special. It's not signed. Um, but, uh, you know, this was the, the big year uh, for uh, Aaron Judge. Uh, hit a lot of home runs. Uh, got me back interested in the hobby. Um, and uh, so I was... Uh, I'm just going to put this on the list. It's a rookie card, obviously, and uh, in the 87 style. So I really like that card. Uh, so this is number... Oh, I forget where we're at here. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Number 5. Number 5 on the list is this Giancarlo Stanton short print. Um, again, I pulled this from a rack pack, um, which... You know, I was just thrilled about. I was just stoked when I pulled this, and that was before, um, you know, before he really, you know, was hitting big this year. I mean, obviously he was hitting big most of the year, but uh, before, you know, it became clear how big of a year he was going to have, and certainly before the the transfer to the or the the trade to the Yankees, uh, Series One tops, uh, like I say, short print, and uh, I just uh, I just like that card for a number of reasons, especially given everything that went afterwards. <clears throat> Number four, uh, this is uh, a framed mini from 2017 Allen and Ginter, uh, Jake Thompson, um, and it's uh, autographed on card. And uh, I also pulled this one out of a rack pack, believe it or not. Um, I uh, was having a rough day a couple months back and went to the store and Picked up a rack pack and uh, bought it. And uh, so, yeah, so that one is, uh, is a nice uh, signed card. All right. Number three is this uh, Chris Bryant uh, throwback jersey short print from uh, 2017 Gypsy Queen. Uh, pulled this out of a uh, blaster box. So uh, that was nice. Uh, numbered 69 of 99, number one of the series. Uh, number one in the series of 320, 69 of 99. And again, uh, this is a short printed throwback jersey card. So I like that. Number two, Alex Reyes, rookie card. One of one magenta printing plate from... Tops update series. Um, I just bought one box of update, um, one hobby jumbo hobby box, and uh, this was inside. Um, and uh, I was obviously very thrilled by that. Um, I, it's my only ever one of one, and uh, I think uh, Alex Reyes is is going to be a, quite a player. Um, so I uh, I was pleased to get this. You know I I don't. Do a lot of you know I don't buy multiple boxes typically I just buy the uh, you know buy one I collect really for myself I don't I don't particularly sell my cards or do anything like that I just collect and you know I trade every now and again but just generally for myself so I don't I don't buy multiple boxes of, of anything typically just buy the one and hopefully get something interesting I like the treasure hunt of it and so number one on the list is uh, from gallery. George Springer, uh, number twenty four of ninety nine, green auto, um, and uh, I opened my gallery box, you know, right, you know, pretty soon after the the World Series, and uh, 
you know, obviously uh, George Springer uh, was the World Series MVP, so I was uh, was very excited to get uh, to get this card. So those are my uh, eleven favorite um, cards from twenty seventeen. I hope everyone liked this video. Uh, if you did, feel free to uh, comment below and uh, and click the like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll be back with more videos uh, later in the week. Thanks everyone. Bye.